holy. Oh! 
fact is... Oh. Huh. Many thanks. Ah, welcome. Make yourself comfortable. A deal's a deal. You want to find Earhart, and I'll honor my side of the bargain. But let's take it slow. There's much we have to talk about, you and I. If you say so. But what about? Sir Earhart, of course, and what I know of him. I'm listening. Now where to begin? Tell me, Sir Ulberic, are you familiar with the land from which Sir Earhart hailed? Some border town in the far reaches of Hornburg. Or so he once told me. Hey, a peaceful village called Grind. At least it was till it was raised in the war. <sighs> it was long before Lord Earhart became a knight that he lost his home. After that, he joined a band of cell swords for a spell. It was there he got an idea in his head. And so, he finally came to serve Hornburg and the Crown, as a spy. Oh, preposterous! You mean to tell me that Earhart meant to betray us all along? His eyes always burned with fire when he told the tale. The King of Hornburg turned his back on us, he'd said, and sat on his ass as our homes burned. Nonsense. King Alfred cared for all his subjects. He would never... Lord Earhart claimed otherwise. Either way, he was a man on a mission. If that's true, that means he'd been plotting the downfall of Hornburg for years. Revenge is made all the sweeter by the passage of time. How sweet it must have been for him when Hornburg fell at last. Ah. 
I don't pretend to admire his deeds, nor claim they are honorable. Then, I've never known the pain and anguish Sir Earhart was forced to bear. Though I wonder sometimes how it made him feel to see justice done. If winning his revenge put his heart at ease. I never asked him, and he never told me. But of all the men in this world, mayhap he'd tell you. You look up to the man, don't you? He taught me to be a true warrior, and I dare say he was a friend as well. I know of little else but the ways of battle. Whatever his sins might have been, I was proud to call him a brother. As was I. Thank you. Happy to have the company and a willing ear. You'll find Sir Earhart in the desert town of Wellspring. When you do, well, I trust you'll do what's right. Even if that means I slay him? Your friend, your mentor, your brother. If that is what you believe he deserves, I reckon he'll accept his fate. And so will I. Whatever the cause he fought for, it does not excuse his deeds. He slew the king he had taken a sworn oath to protect. I will listen to what he has to say. That much I can promise you, but no more. Does Gustav have the right of it? Did Erhart wield his sword for the sake of revenge? If so, does he still wield it, even though the thirst for vengeance has been sated? Could it be that we are the same? Has Erhart too lost his purpose? Interesting. off to what does it matter the tourney is over our bargain is concluded it is but that doesn't mean we can't bid each other godspeed phew got you in the nick of time we won't let you go sneaking away without so much as a fare thee well Of course. Pray forgive my manners. I could not have gotten this far without you. Both of you. You have my thanks. 
and you have ours. So, if I can be so bold, where are you off to next? The Sunlands. A town called Wellspring. To finish what I started here. And then? I don't know. Perhaps I'll return ho to the village I came from before here. Well, if you've already got a place to call home, then maybe this means nothing. But if you're looking for a new line of work, you could do worse than being a full-time champion. <laughs> the offer is welcome, but it's not the life for me. Thought you might say that, but I had to ask, huh? If you ever have a change of heart, just drop on by. Or even if you don't, you'll always be welcome here. Thank you, friend. I may do just that. In the meantime, take care of those wounds. Don't you worry about me. I'll be fighting fit soon enough, and ready to give a good showing in next year's tournament. A good showing? Now there's an inspiring goal. If you want to stick around in my stable, I'll see you claim the throne. Oi, oi! One step at a time, me lady. I ain't the unbending blade of Hornberg, after all. <laughs> a title and a crest do not a swordsman make. Aye, true enough. Maybe I will go and win it all. <laughs> See what the betters will say about that. Tell you. If they crown Ned King, you come back and we'll put on a duel the likes of which the city's never seen. I'd like that very much. But today, the road comes. Till our paths cross again. Good day to you. Hi.